Yeah, so we've, we've started a process to clean the N95 respirators that our healthcare workers are using so that they can be reused safely um, to, to protect them um, in the face of a shortage of, of supply for these N95 respirators. So we're having difficulty getting a new supply of those respirators and we're projecting that we may run out um, in the coming days or weeks. So to extend our supply, um, we've implemented a process to um, safely clean those so that the, our healthcare workers can, can wear them again. Tell me how that work. Yeah, so our, our healthcare workers are saving the masks after they use them and then sending them to a central processing location where um, we're using UV light um, to sterilize or, or actually to disinfect um, those masks. Yeah, so just like UV light isn't great for our skin, right? It, ca it can cause skin cancer and sunburns. Um, UV light damages cells um, to the point where cells can die. So um, in the case of the virus, the UV light um, disrupts the DNA, the RNA of the virus and, and inactivates the virus so that it can't infect anyone else. Yeah, so these are these are generally in normal times these N95 respirators are used once and then discarded and we just don't have that luxury right now. So these will allow us to use them two or three times and uh, we're we're conducting assessments to see if we can actually reuse them more times than that. I, I, the, the only other thing that's really uh, critical is that we've talked with colleagues around the country, especially on the West Coast and the East Coast, and they're already running out of masks. So the, taking these measures now before we're at a point where um, we, we, we're already out of masks um, is, is a critical measure for us. Absolutely. We've had quite a few um, inquiries from our colleagues at other hospitals around the country asking about our process and trying to work through processes that they've implemented to improve them um, or to explore ways where they can have a, a greater throughput to, to disinfect more masks at a time because this is a really critical issue.